Right then folks, here we are on this ridge on the beacon. There might, might be more than one path like this though. Down there is um, Bossington, down there. We can get teas. There's the farm there. That's where you can, I went to the toilet down there at the start of the walk today. These are all the walks out to get back to the campsite. Yeah, there might be a higher hill. I don't really know. There could be a higher hill, couldn't there? There could be more than one. This might be the lower one. I'm sure I was higher up. I don't know, I don't know. As long as it doesn't go round, up, round. Oh, that could happen, couldn't it? They don't just go round, it weaves in and out. I don't know. I don't like to think of that. There's a lot of seats. Well, I went out at 10 o'clock and I'm going to sit down at the next one and have a drink. I went out at 10 o'clock And I, uh... <sighs> Lovely views. And I've been walking ever since. I, I have sat down and I went in the tea room for a good half an hour. I had two cups of tea, a lovely ham and cheese sandwich, which I've said in nearly every video. <sighs> I rested. The church was restful. I lit candles in there. And then, um... Tides are coming in, I think. I don't think you'll be able to do that bit, Sheila. I think it'd be too dangerous. Look how, the, how, how the water gets in, look. Through the various channels. That's a bloody shame, isn't it? Yeah, because I think, yeah, there's that awful bit there, look, where I got lost. I think I've got to go down the steep path, yeah. There's a beacon, everyone. I can see this, I could... If I was in my campsite now, I'd be able to see somebody like me walking along here and waving. Look, hi world! Hi world! I'll probably bump into those neighbours. I'm sure it was them I seen. They were staring at me for a long time. They might not have made me out with my hair tied up. I wanted to do this. Because I'm really, this is going to be it for this visit on this side of the... This is going to be it for this side. All I know I can say is I've skirted thoroughly. I've skirted thoroughly. It's narrow, isn't it? A bit prickly if you roll down there. I wouldn't try that. Yeah, in a minute I'll be going back down that way. I was going to do the beach. But it looks like the tide are coming. It looks like it's filling in as well. Look, it must get in somewhere. So those little bridges might be full up. 
don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see in a minute. Yeah, we're nearly at Hurlstone Point, which is down there. Can't see the tower yet. That's Hurlstone Point now. Let's turn off for a minute in case it suddenly goes. Right, on record, there's Helston Point. Can see the top of the tower there, and over there looks like the White Cliffs of Dover, isn't it? Over there somewhere, look. It's not though, it's um wells. It's got like it's like white cliffs, look. Like the White Cliffs of Dover, it's quite a long stretch. Then there's a little small lighthouse and then a bigger one. I'll have to find out what that is. They, those people must have been quite close to me, you know, that came out of there. I'm going to do deja vu um, after I've done this bit um, because I'm going to go and do the route I did last night and make sure I don't end up in the orchard. <laughs> Sometimes you have to go back. I think that must be quite dangerous over there. I've never seen anyone on there. I've never seen anyone walking that bit. I expect there, there might, it might be sheer drops each side. It's not only that it looks very unsafe. I went round a bit of it. And I think you're more likely to get a rock on your head. It's very loose. Around there. I went, I had a little walk around there. I've got it on video. But I think, um... Can I open it, Mum? A bit snooty. I'm going to shoot a shut up. I'm not really bothered. I've, I've, I've got education. You wouldn't think so, would you? I trivialise myself. Someone said that to me once. She said, Sheila, don't trivialise you, yourself. You know, because I've got my qualifications and everything. Um, but sometimes I act like the village idiot. It's quite nice to be the village idiot at times, though, I find. <sighs> they have different expectations of you, though, and then you can... Some people put me in that category when they first meet me. <sighs> they got no idea of my background. The Somerset accent, they think we still live in mud huts and that we're thick. I think that's what I pick up from people. Um, not exactly really well off people with knowledge and nobility. No, not them. It's like the middle class, the upper middle classes especially. <sighs> They're very judgmental, you know, but they've probably, if they went back in their tree, they find they come from um, basic ordinary folk as well. <sighs> it's only a couple of hundred years ago in parts of my tree we were well off. <sighs> About 200 years ago, maybe 250 years ago, I'd have to look at, find out to get the exact dates. Oh, I do make me work hard for myself, don't I? I've got to go down that now. Do you want to go down that or do you want to walk back the other way? What do you want to do? 
no, I don't want to walk back. Let's go back down it. Let's go back down it. I just imagine bumping into these people though that are that are on the campsite, but you know, the, with the campsites, why a lot of wild campers don't like the campsites. There's not exactly regimental. And you can be left on your own a lot. But there's sort of hidden rules. Like, who's got the biggest camper van? You know, what gear have you got? You know, and all that. And I turn up with my gypsy-looking Alberta. They put you in a box right away. You've got to be a gypsy. I've probably got gypsy blood. I don't know. I sometimes feel there might be some in there from the Smith family. God, I thought that looked like a flipping Stone Age man we're walking up there then. Let's have another, let's have another look. No, I think that's a woman. She's backpacking. I said from the look of her, my God, some people are brave, aren't they? And she's got a dog as well. I think it's a woman. Big girl. She's having to take her pack off. But she's probably got to go down here in a minute. Unless she's going to take this route. This is the easier route down. Believe it or not, this will take you down to Bossington. Along here. So with that, well, you've got to go down that. I'm going down it again, because I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> I'm a glutton for punishment. Yeah, so I'm, well, she might not be on her and she's got a dog, but... It's reassuring to just fell over ladies if um, we do see some women on their own sometimes feeling confident and brave, you know. Um, not always having to have this bloke being the hero and doing all the carrying and, um, you know, only I can decide and all that sort of crap. Um, because we fall into these roles so easily, you see. Well, my marriage wouldn't suit me. I shouldn't, I should never have married. I mean, basically, I didn't even want to get married, really. <sighs> it was economics, like Karl Marx said, pushed me into it. The economic unit is the family. They create their own pressures amongst themselves. So you have the, the bloke controlling the unit. You know? Then the woman's dependent, pregnant, dependent. No welfare. Oh, yes, I remember. And it still goes on, of course, in many ways. It's a fight as a woman. I was driven for education at a young age. So that's why I did well at it. But I didn't use it as such. I got loads of qualifications. But fitting into this capitalist society is not easy. But of course, obviously, if you want stuff, like you want toilet roll or a light bulb or your car to work, you've got to have its run on a profit, profits. There's Sheila's bench again. There's Sheila's bench. Got to go down that. Timing it quite well, actually. Back to Sheila's bench. I did all the way round. I'm gonna sit here and have another drink. You can do that, you know. You just have to be really careful, I think. I haven't seen anyone doing it, though. Right, over and out. <sighs>